Welcome back guys, it's Kids Coding Playground here, and today we're back for another video called the Save Water Game. Today we will be working on the Save Water Game. One of our viewer requests to make this kind of game related to social cause. The point of this game is that each player will control its own bucket to catch the water from the dripping pipes. Save Water Game. We'll be learning these following concepts in Scratch. Variables, loops, broadcast message, sensing collision, and controlling sprite with arrow keys. So I'm just going to go to my... So um, I just went to my scratch project, and this is how it looks like. So I used the takeout sprite, so let's just click the green flag. My brother's here to play with me right Hello. here. So, so I'm going to be the orange one on the right. I'll be the blue one. So the point of the game is to move side by side and to catch the water you have to hold the you have to press the uh, down arrow key or the S key. So as you can see play some music and as you can see you can't catch the water, water if, you don't, if you don't crouch. So you gotta crouch. crouch and then you can collect the water. And you can you can only move if you don't crouch. So that, that's basically the game. And first 100 points will win. Yeah, and I'm, I'm gonna try to get 100 here. And each, each, uh, uh, what's that called? The, each raindrop is 100 points, right? 10, 10, 10 points, 10, 10, 10, 10 points, yeah. Oh, that yeah, I'll let you win. I'm trying to, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to like, win until this one. Okay, so I got 100, it says player 2 wins, as you can see. So, we're going to jump right into this project. So, before I start, please like, share, subscribe, and comment in the comment section below to show me what uh, uh, else projects you want for us to make. So, I'm going to make some variables. So, as you, as you can see, in, when I demoed it, you had to crouch using the down arrow key to for for or the down arrow key or s so you got to make a variable called crouch one you can make it crouch one and then the second one is crouch two because it's for the other one other player crouch two and then you also have to make the player score for the first player and player score two for the second player. I'm just gonna hide these two variables right here. And we're gonna I already have some uh, sprites in the backpack for me. So I'm gonna just change the name of this. And instead of using I'm gonna use capital P capital P in the player score. Yeah, this already has an S. And I'm also going to make that a capital S. And I'm also going to do it with the other one so you can see it better. So there you go. And I'm going to start on the code. So I already have the sprites for me. The regular takeout. And the orange takeout. And also the water drop. The water drop. The pipe, so you can uh, obviously draw these on your own, and the uh, win, you win sprite. So obviously, if you're gonna use the regular takeout, you gotta delete um, B and C takeout. You only need D and A takeout. So yeah, for the other one is the same. I just changed the color because you can tell if the first player and the second player. So I'm gonna teach you how to draw the water drop. So it's like a egg type of shape. Uh, that's the wrong button. Uh, paint. And so you just need a regular circle that's a cyan color or a blue color and you can just reshape it to make it look more like a water drop. As you can see, that's a little bit too small, but that's fine. So we can just delete this one and get right into the code. We we'll also have to draw the pipe. I can also teach you how to draw the pipe. It's pretty simple. 
you just have to draw a rectangle, a few lines through, and then draw another rectangle. So it's actually pretty simple. So anyways, um, I'm just going to start on the code. So I'm going to delete the cat. And then use a player one. So you have to, if green flag click, because that's this green flag right here. So everyone knows that. Um, zoom in a little bit. Uh, set crouch to N, so it'll, so when you start the game, it will not crouch. It's crouch one because I'm working with player one, and it'll go to a certain position. So let's say right here, and it'll switch costume to take out D. So this take take out D is this costume where it's running. So it'll when it spawns, it'll be a take out D. So switch costume to take out. D forever because you need a forever loop for if it's gonna if, to go up down all these type of things not up down side left right so and if then statement if key arrows key a press because that's the left key the left one for W A S D that then set crouch to N because you don't want it to crouch. So set crouch one to N. While it's moving, you cannot crouch. So you'll switch costume to take out D because that's like the regular costume when it's running. Um, point in direction negative 90. Of course, you have to have this or else it'll flip over. So you gotta click on this button right here. And um, you gotta point in direction negative 90 what I just said, point in direction negative 90. And move 10 steps, so it'll move. And you can just duplicate this and do D instead. It'll switch costume to take out D point in direction 90 instead because it's pointing the right and then AD and the S is for crouch so you got to duplicate this again but then just change this to crouch moment so it's actually S I see if I can S right there and it'll set crouch to Y so then it will crouch and I'll switch costume to take out A. I'm gonna put this right in front of, doesn't really matter, but yeah, you can just do it if you want to. You can put it in front of there, it doesn't matter. And then you don't need this point and direction thing. So also need a, if for winning, if then statement, you need an or, cause if it's more than a hundred points or equal to a hundred points, it'll win. So it's, equals if the player score equals 100 so player one score so that's the first one that equals 100 then then you'll win but and and also if you get that one when player score one wins you win two so i'm just gonna stop that player one score equals 100 they'll broadcast player one wins so it'll tell the um, the the winning message to come out, and yeah. So we're also gonna work on the second player. So I'm gonna work on player two, and it's basically the same thing as player one, almost the same thing. Drag it over. So I'm just gonna drag this over. And I'm sure this one has it. Yes, it's right here. It's the whole code. Instead, you gotta change the go to position. And instead, you need crouch two, because that's for the second player. So you need a go to position. Instead, you gotta use the other one. This one right here, wherever it's standing. So switch costume to take out D forever. If A is the left arrow, it's the left arrow. And. D is the right arrow. Instead, you need crouch two and crouch two for this one. 
an S, instead you have to use down arrow. And then change crouch two instead to Y. So if player two score equals 100, or it's over 100, then broadcast player two wins. So that's a new message. And if I receive player one wins, then it'll stop other scripts in this sprite. And duplicate that. And then if player two wins, then stop other scripts in this sprite. We also need it for the other player. So I should drag this over. And we're gonna work on the water. So the water, when the green flag is clicked, it will hide in the beginning um, forever. I'll go forever. Oh wait, and it'll pick random seconds actually. That's really interesting. So that's you can use that if you want to. So you can wait one to pick random to two seconds. And then you can broadcast a new message called drop and wait because it has it has to have a little wait drop and then when I receive drop I'm just gonna duplicate three pipes as you saw in my demo I had three pipes so I'm just gonna move the pipes Let's just move it right here. This one right here. How about here? Yeah. And then we'll go back to water. Let's let's move this up. Let's move the player one score here. Player two score here. And when I receive drop, it will show because that's when it drops down, and it will go to it will go to a random pipe basically so it won't be random position and you got to join the pipes together so it's actually go to join pipe and pick random one two three so pick random pipe one to three there's three pipes here and you gotta repeat until so it'll keep on going until it's touching the edge of the screen and it'll change y by negative 10. Please. And change y by negative 10. Negative 5. So it's going down. And then you need an if then loop right here. If then, and, my uh, and, if then it's touching player one, player one, and in crouch equals Y. So, so only, it'll only collect if it's crouching. So that's basically what it means. If crouch one is equals to Y, that means it will collect the drop. It will change player score. Player score one by ten, and oh hot, because you because player one collected it, and we just duplicate almost the same thing. It's almost the same thing. Just duplicate that and put it right there, right under it, not inside of it, or else that would not work. Right outside of it, but not in outside of the repeat loop. So uh, instead, it's touching player two. And instead, it's crouch two. And it'll change player score two by 10 instead. And it'll hide. And it'll hide again in the end after all the loops. So we also have to, we also got the player. So we're also going to do the you win.
So when the green flag is clicked, I'm gonna add the backdrop in the music later. It'll set um, player score. It'll set player score to zero. So player one score to zero and duplicate and then player score two to zero and then it'll hide to in the beginning all the score will be reset and then when i receive player one wins it'll sh switch costume to costume one so that's the first costume i have the costume right here so it's player one wins player two wins so I'll switch costume to costume one it'll show and stop all duplicate the same thing almost the same thing instead it's player two wins um and switch costume to costume two instead and you also need the background music you also do the background music so i'm going to work on the background music so when the green flag is clicked it'll go forever and play a sound I used eggs. I'm not sure why they called it eggs, but I place down eggs until done. And I'm gonna also get a backdrop. I use like a water type of theme, type of thing. I use water and rocks, I think that's what it's called. So I'm gonna duplicate the water so there's gonna be two at the same time. So water two instead. So here we go. It's going to be way quicker on the demo of the game. I have my dad right here. So, as you can see, um, I'm on the crouch mode. And, yeah. So, I'm gaining points. I'm on the crouch. So, it says, you can see, it says player two wins. So, that's basically the game. So, please like, share, subscribe, and comment in the comment section below for what else projects you want next. So thank you for watching.